Are you looking for the best triathlon watches? In this video we will look at some of the best triathlon watches on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Garmin Forerunner 945. The Garmin Forerunner 945 is a stylish looking watch, and it's also packed with helpful triathlon features. Garmin fans will appreciate this low profile and high function watch. The Forerunner 945 is a robust and feature packed watch, making it especially great for triathlon use. It's lightweight and thin so it will fit nicely and discreetly on your wrist. You won't even know it's there, apart from the fact that you'll be excited to have all these features at your fingertips. Like all Garmin's, you can customize the watch face to suit you. If you've had a Garmin before, the same UX applies here. While it's an extremely feature-rich watch, there are some specifics that stand out for triathletes. Let's have a look at the battery first up. Garmin claims that the watch will last up to 2 weeks in normal mode and 36 hours with full GPS GPS and music should get you 10 hours. In total, there's more than enough battery here for a full Ironman and won't require recharging while you are training. Speaking of, training is also made easy, with dedicated run, swim, bike, and triathlon activity modes. Not forgetting things like sleep tracking, heart rate tracking, and blood oxygen levels, all of which are great to keep an eye on and measure health by. We're also a fan of safety assistance, incident detection, and live tracking, which can literally be a lifesaver on long runs or rides. Other than that, you'll have a bunch of other features including music storage of up to 1000 songs, downloadable workouts, top-notch GPS features, and 16GB of onboard memory for your training and racing data. Number 2. Garmin Forerunner 745. The Forerunner 745 is a tri-suitable watch with a ton of excellent features. It's physically smaller and has a less powerful battery than the 945, but also comes in at about $100 less, so it's up to you what works best for you. While not quite as feature-rich as the 945, the Forerunner 745's dedicated triathlon activity profile indicates that it's very much a triathlon-appropriate device. This is incredibly handy, as it means you can switch from one tri activity to the next with a simple push of a button, rather than trying to switch activity profiles while you're on the go, and it accounts for transitions. As well as a handy all-in-one mode, you can make the most of your training thanks to robust run, swim, and cycle training modes. It can continue tracking your heart rate while you're underwater, so you'll be able to keep up with detailed metrics no matter what you're training at the time. The device also calculates your recovery time based on your training load, which will help you to make smarter training and recovery decisions. One of the things we really like about this watch is how easy it is to read in direct sunlight. You don't have to squint while you're in the middle of a race. It does have a noticeably lower battery life than the 945, offering a week in normal mode, 16 to 24 hours in GPS mode, and 6 hours with GPS and music. Number 3. Koro's Apex. You can't beat Koro's for value for money. The battery life is the absolute best feature, but the Apex is also packed with excellent, high-value functions that make it a joy to have on your wrist during a triathlon. First of all, the Koro's Apex gets a huge thumbs up for its nice price. It's way more affordable than Garmin and packs a serious punch in terms of features, so if budget is a consideration for you, this is a fantastic option. Secondly, we have to talk about the battery life. Koros has become known for their long-lasting battery, and it's especially useful for those who want to supplement their triathlons with ultra-marathons and the like. It's important to note that this watch comes in two different sizes, 42mm and 46mm, naturally, the 46mm has a bit of a bigger battery. Here's what you can expect from each in terms of battery life. You'll get all your regular daily tracking data, plus handy features like interval training, heart rate zone training breakdown, nutrition and hydration alerts, triathlon specific activity mode, and a handy auto lock feature. It also has a dedicated triathlon mode, so you don't have to worry about how to track your event in separate legs. When you're done, it's super simple to sync to whatever app you prefer to store your data. Number 4. Sunto 9 Peak. 
This compact, light, and stylish little watch may be small and comfy, but it still packs a punch in terms of features. The Sunto 9 Peak is made for comfort. We love how compact and light it is, and how it sits nicely on the wrist without getting in the way, feeling clunky, or even being noticed much at all, really. User experience is pretty comfy too, with intuitive menus and an easy-to-read screen. Battery-wise, it performs pretty well. You can expect 14 days per charge in regular time mode, 7 days with mobile notifications and 24-7 tracking, and between 25 and 170 hours in training mode with GPS, depending on your training mode. Customizable battery settings allow you to toggle between different modes to save battery life if you're getting down the wire during an event or sometime when you can't charge the watch. There's no specific triathlon mode here, but there is a multi-sport mode which offers a similar experience. There are also specific run, swim, and cycle modes for optimizing your training. It's important to note that there are two different models here, a titanium one, which is lighter but more expensive, and a stainless steel one, which gains half an ounce but has a significantly lower price point. They're exactly the same feature-wise, it's just the bezel that's different. Number 5. Garmin Phoenix 7. A classic Garmin look and feel, with the ability to use maps as you train or race. Ideal for those who have a non-maps watch and wish they could use navigation features. The Phoenix 7 is a great watch, which features a touchscreen that can be locked during sport mode to prevent accidentally taps while you're on track to hitting a new PB. Every unit features mapping, although only the Sapphire watch will come with preloaded maps for your area. You'll have to download your own on other units, which may take a little while to download onto the watch. But once it's there, you can manage the maps from your wrist, which is super useful. Dual frequency GPS helps to keep your routing accurate. The watch also has a dedicated triathlon mode, so you can slap it on, choose your map, and get going with little worry. And of course, it includes all your regular health tracking so you can keep an eye on what's going on in your body, as well as Garmin's body battery. Speaking of battery, your typical Phoenix 7 should allow for 18 days of battery in smartwatch mode, 57 days in battery saver mode, 57 hours with GPS only, 40 hours with all satellite systems going, 10 hours with GPS and music, 136 hours in max battery GPS, and 40 days in expedition GPS mode. The maps feature is excellent and is likely to be well used by serious athletes. It has a decent battery life and all the other basic features you may need for a triathlon. Number 6. Sunto 7. If music sees you through the tough moments during your triathlon events, you'll find the Sunto 7 to be an excellent companion. As well as regular watch features, the Sunto 7 allows you to store up to 8GB of music directly on the watch. This is a top-notch feature for those who can't run without tunes in their ears. You can connect headphones directly to the watch to listen to your heart's content, and control the music via your phone. Super easy and convenient. There's also a built-in mic if you need to take or make a quick phone call or use Google Assistant. The watch also tracks all the stuff you need to know about your health, like your sleep, your daily heart rate, your calories burned, training load and effect, fitness level, and recovery. With a triathlon mode, separate modes for each discipline, as well as measuring heart rate while swimming, and offline maps, you can definitely use the watch for triathlons quite easily. It pairs effortlessly to apps like Strava and Training Peaks for you to store your data after your events. The one downside is the battery life. It's much lower than most, offering just 2 days in smartwatch mode, up to 40 days in battery saver mode, and up to 12 hours in training mode with GPS.